building an anaerobic uh, digester to go with the greenhouses. I'm in anatomy and physiology and I like it a lot because I can apply it to what I learn in the farm and in the classroom. I'm excited about my fashion design independent. Astronomy definitely. Sushi making. Fossil turtles. Music production. It's my evening art class. I'm in existentialism. It's called biodesign. I'm currently writing a research paper for writing and research about the Kennedy assassination. Actually, Photoshop and digital photography, my basis as a traditional photographer, and that is what I've primarily taught over the years, and it's been really fun for me to delve deeper. So I'm interested in script writing. Teaching kids how to have, how to have hard conversations. I'm excited for my project week because I'm building a sundial. I'm excited to hear Putney about learning across the board and having students teach me as much as I'm working with them. One of the most exciting things I've done in these days have been the, the photo class. I'm working right now with a student on um, South African history and apartheid and that's what I studied in graduate school. I'm designing my own class as a senior. It's been really fun to learn how to set roots on my own without guidance. Ultimately it will be a robot that's basically like an arm with a little grabber and um, it's going to be mounted on top of a little car, remote control car. And uh, Keith, the actual arm thing, is going to be controlled with reverse kinematics using a PlayStation controller. Every single year, um, there's just this breath of fresh, innovative ideas and people. I think I'm most surprised by the extent to which the culture is is organic. Just how many options you have here, all the things that you can do. Kids are really nice to each other here. I mean, aside from it being an incredibly welcoming community, I've never really experienced this kind of freedom within my own learning to advance in the things that I'm interested in. So I'm working with a student who's into philosophy, and I can think, oh yeah, I remember when I was so excited, just like this student was when I was 20 years old. And it sort of rekindles that, that fire in me. And then I teach them about how to discipline that passion into critical thinking. The thing that surprised me about Putney was not Putney in itself, but how it affected me. I grew in ways that I didn't think I would. Well, I can't say it was surprising, something that I wasn't thinking about, which I really enjoyed was just how friendly and open everyone here has been. Just the atmosphere. When I visited, I kind of got a sense of it, but being here, it's so laid back and everybody's really easygoing. But at the same time, everybody is really ambitious and ready to get things done. It's a really cool balance. So I have lunch crew uh, as my work job this trimester for the fall. And I feel like it's a way where I feel like I'm doing a lot for the community and participating in what we create and the space that we're using. I think the contribution that I enjoy the most is helping students answer their own questions. I enjoy contributing because I know that once I stop contributing, then Putney doesn't work. Helping new international student. I love working in the barn because it's like it's a very good sense of accomplishment. I love the fact that I'm in a place where there is imagination and you know it builds from the students. I've learned a lot about listening by being a student dorm head and that's really rewarding. Well, I have to really go back to the work program. It's something that I have been part of for a long time. Creating a fun environment and a place that feels like home for other people. 